Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. Lithium-ion batteries have been the stunning innovation behind some very successful corporate empires, producing electronics such as smartphones, laptops, tablets, and increasingly electric vehicles. But what do we do with the growing mountain of nasty waste once the batteries have expired? Enter Lifecycle, a Canadian startup company based in Mississauga, Ontario, that says it can recycle 95% of the materials in lithium-ion batteries. Yeah, hi, I'm Kunal Falfer. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer here at Lifecycle. Uh, we're a company founded in 2016, uh, focused on resource recovery from lithium-ion batteries. So what that means is we're looking to extract the raw materials and critical battery materials from lithium ion batteries that we use, you know, in our everyday lives, cell phone, laptop, uh, but also benefit from in terms of energy storage or electrified transportation. Lithium ion batteries are what allows electric cars to go 500 kilometers. But with their popularity comes a mounting problem of waste and what to do about it. We're probably sitting at about a half a million tons per year globally of lithium ion batteries are, are reaching the end of life and available for recycling. By 2030, this number is expected to increase five fold to 2.5 million tons of waste. But as it turns out, the components of these lithium ion batteries are actually valuable materials. Uh, and that is a or large tonnages of critical materials, high value materials like cobalt, nickel, lithium that can be recovered and, and brought back into the supply chain to really create a circular economy. Lifecycle not only learned how to extract the nickel and cobalt from the batteries, they also learned how to extract the lithium and refine those elements into high quality raw materials that can be sold to manufacturers. We've built two uh, 5,000 ton per year facilities, one here in Canada, Kingston, Ontario, one in Rochester, New York. So each of those could process equivalent of 10,000 electric vehicles a year. In a hub and spoke system, they've already built two spoke recycling facilities that shred and separate materials in the batteries. What emerges is a black mass, which contains nickel, cobalt, and lithium. In addition to the two shredding facilities, Lifecycle is now building a much larger hub facility in New York. This will refine the black mass into high-quality, saleable raw materials. Uh, our plan is to build, continue to build out that spoke network or that shredding, those shredding facilities both in North America and abroad. Um, but the hub side we're, we're producing or building is a uh, much larger scale. So that can take equivalent of 60,000 tons per year of material in, uh, equivalent to about 120,000 electric vehicles. Uh, and that's something we're also building in Rochester, New York, that will allow us to uh, produce you know, thousands of tons of nickel, cobalt, and lithium uh, to bring back into the market. Lifecycle is not just recycling the batteries, they're turning them back into the raw materials that will go into making new batteries, the very definition of a circular economy. The other thing that's driving our business is that the demand for these critical materials is seen as a bottleneck to the EV growth. So even a automaker or battery maker is more interested in getting those batteries back and extracting the materials from them so that there's a security of supply on, on those critical materials that I've mentioned. Lifecycle will make money taking in battery waste, but in the long run, the company's also counting on selling those valuable raw materials at large scale and solving a much talked about problem. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.